So in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, data attributes in HTML5. Data attributes are basically a way to add some information that's not technically visible for the user, but that you can use in your code as necessary. So for example, let's say we have this table with different rows and different data here. Now I can go to this different table data cells and give them some different data attributes. So data attributes works like this. So like any other attributes, you go within the first opening tag and then you start with data and then you do dash. And then after you do this dash, you come up with the rest on your own. So for example, I can say product dash type. So see how I'm separating all different words using dashes after that data dash. So I'm gonna say that equals to drink. I could also add more attributes. So for example, let's say here, I go and add a data attribute for this unit currency, something like this. And then you can add another data attribute. So you basically just come up with different names for these attributes. The only requirement is that they have to start with this data dash part, and then the rest of the words you separate by dashes. Exact amount. And again, I will put something in here. So now I have basically some data attributes. Now, mainly you do this data attributes because you're gonna be using JavaScript to get this information or set this information in a way. So let's see how we deal with this in JavaScript. So now that I have this attributes, I'm gonna go back and reload my HTML page. Then I'll go back to my console, which I already have opened. If you don't have it opened, you can right click to inspect element that will get you there. At least that will work like that on Firefox and Google Chrome. I'm using Firefox right now, but you can just use whatever you want. Now here I'm gonna go to console and this is where I can do my JavaScript. So first I need to find the element. So let's say this element is what I'm looking for, this TD. And that would be the TD that's inside of this table, right? So I'm just gonna go with that. Let's just get all TD elements inside of the table. So I'll do document dot query selector all because I'm gonna get all of them. And then I want all TD elements. If you wanted to make sure that's a TD that's inside of a table, you could do table space TD. If you had multiple tables, you could also add a class to your table and use the class instead of using the table element. But for this, this should be good enough. So right now, let me actually bring the browser back. If I go ahead and just run this, see, I'm gonna get a list of TDs that are on this page. And if I scroll over this first one, see it's highlighting that coffee cell, which is the first TD cell we have here. If I open this, we'll see that list a little better. But basically, if I want the first one, which is that coffee cell, I will have to get the item number zero. So if I do that, now we should be able to just get the TD. This is the TD that has that data attribute. So now to get to that data attribute, what you do, you do dot data set and then dot again. And then after the dot, you have to mention the name of the attribute in camel case. So what that means here, for example, in this case, this attribute is called data-product-type. So you don't do this data part because that's the data set. Now you just have to do product type in camel case. So you don't do the dash. What do you do instead? You do product and then uppercase type. So if I do this and run this, see, I get drink, which is, well, the product type right there. I could also set that to a different value. So right now, that's the value we have, drink. So I can set that to a different value by simply just 
making it equal to whatever else I want it to be equal to. So I can say food. So if I run this, if I go back now to my inspector to look at my HTML, let's go find the table. There's the table. There is the body of that table. And in that body, we have the first row. In that first row, we have that data cell. And you can see now I set it to food. If I go back to the console, I could also add my own data attributes. Let's say product color. I'm going to set it to green. So if I do this and run that, let's go back and take a look. If I go to my inspector, see now I have this data dash product dash color thing with a green value. All right, let's also go get that from the second TD, which has the unit and exact amount assigned to it. So first let's go get that element. So that element will be number one, which is the second one. Let's just run this to make sure we get the right thing. So there it is. See, we have data unit and exact amount for that. So now in that again, we'll do data set and then dot again inside of that data set. If I want data dash unit, I will just have to use unit. That's it. So if I run this, See, we get currency and same way if I want that exact amount thing, we just do exact and amount camel casing, the same thing. And that should get us that 4.523. This is going to be, again, you can see it's in quotations. That means it's text. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.